All right, in this video, I'm gonna make a drink animation. I'm gonna put it in a little can here. Then when you hit the F key, you can drink something. All right, so let's grab it. And then I'm gonna hit the F key. Nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. I put it in invisibility script so you can see where I'm going with it, but we're just gonna do the drink itself. And the invisibility will wear off. So you just hit the F key. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a drink animation. When you hit the F key, boom, he drinks. I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and stop that. Get a fresh world. Here's a fresh world. And let's go ahead and build our animation first. So you might be at the home tab right here. Go over to plugins and then hit build rig. R15 because my game characters are R15. So I want that. And then I'm going to put a rig in here and you can use any of them because we're not really going to use this guy. Well, not an R6 if you have R15 people in your game, but well, it doesn't matter if it's mesh or woman or whatever. We're going to delete this eventually. All right, so we got our dummy. Now let's go to our animation editor. Notice how I push, I positioned him so I could see the right shoulder. When you pick up a tool, you're going to pick it up with your right hand by default. So that's why I'm going to do the animation here. All right, so when we click on him, we're going to get this create uh, an animation to start. I'm going to call this a drink. Right, for animation name cool now the most important part because it's really hard to troubleshoot if you don't do it these three dots down here can you see my mouse click on that hit set animation priority and select action right because you want it to fire when you hit your key otherwise it won't fire if it's too low of a priority all right now i'm going to get my shoulder right here the upper arm I'm going to lift it up and that's where we're going to start because when you pick up a tool that's what it's going to look like your arm's going to be up so i'm at the zero position on my scrubber bar this is the scrubber bar i have if you hit that cog i have everything in frames but you could pick either of these this is just the units and then frame rate is 30 frames per second good so it default should be fine you don't have to change anything i just wanted to kind of highlight that all right, let's go to the ninth frame and I'm going to drink on the ninth frame. So I'm going to pull my shoulder in a little bit. Yeah, because I'm going to do the forearm. Maybe drop, drop the arm down a little because we're going to bend the arm. Right, and here's my arm. So now I got the lower arm. So we got two new keyframes, one for the shoulder. And now you're going to see more get added when I pick my, when I bend at the elbow. Cool. That's not bad. Let's move it over a little bit. Good. Maybe we'll move the hand. So I select the hand. We'll turn it. That's not bad. Yeah. Good. And let's get the torso here. The the uh, yeah the torso. Get the red. I'm gonna just kind of kick him back there, like he's drinking. That's pretty cool. I think that'll work. So I'm going to hold that position while I'm drinking. So what I'm going to do, rather than try and do this again in a different place in the timeline, I'm going to click that upper diamond and that's going to select everything. I'm going to right click, copy selected, and maybe go out to 21 here in the scrubber bar. Go down into where the keyframes are, right click on the blue, and then paste keyframes. That way we'll hold that position. And then maybe I'll return to my tool position. Let's go ahead and copy the zero position. I, I selected that first diamond. Right click, copy selected, go to 30, and paste keyframes. Now let's play it. Ah, that's not bad. That's not bad for a video anyway. Cool. All right. So once again, let's check our three dots. Make sure set animation priority is action. Go ahead and do that. Make sure it's action. And now we'll save our animation. If you want to go back in and edit it or see it, look at your dummy. And then under NM saves, you'll see your drink is your animation. Cool beans. All right. So we don't need that. We don't need that. What we need to do is export. Hit your three dot dots again. And then I'm going to export this to my account. Hit submit. Now I can use this in any of my games, 
right? But you'll have to make your own because your this ID won't work in your game. Hit those hit those little triangles or squares there, and you'll see ID copied, right? Now ID copied. And before I lose it, I'm going to go over to the workspace, hit the plus sign, grab a tool, right? Hit the plus sign on tool, get an animation, or you can hit A to bring it to the top, right? Animation. In animation, look for animation ID in the properties, right click, paste it. When you hit enter, you're going to have RBX asset ID colon slash slash prepended to your ID. And now you can find it in your account. So you don't need this guy. I'm going to keep him here though, just in case we need him. Actually, I'm going to keep him here because I'm going to show you how to use um, my game's uh, animation in your game by exporting it to your account in the next video. All right, cool. So we don't see our tool anywhere and that's because there are no parts. Let's go to home. Let's get rid of this. Let's add a part. Let's add a cylinder, our sophisticated uh, can mesh, right? I'll just say can. So you can use a mesh with this too if, if, you, if you want. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put the can right in the tool, right? Maybe make it an awesome color. I don't know, like a green. Maybe make it glow. I don't know, neon. Did I get neon? I didn't get it. Neon. There we go. And change the orientation so that it's upright. I know I'll just do 90 degrees on the Z, and that'll make it upright. Cool. All right, let's change the size of our can. Let's go down to size. I'm going to make it 1.2 comma, 0.6, comma, 0.6. Cool, I'll just put it on the floor here. Now we need a handle to pick up our can. I usually keep the mesh, which I, it's just a cylinder here, and the handle separately. So that way, if I don't like the way it's sitting in his hand, I can actually modify the handle rather than messing around with this grip stuff right here on the tool. So under tool, hit the plus sign, uh, add a part. And that part's going to be the handle. You have to spell it like this, handle. All right, let's make it small. Let's go to, uh, we don't care about the color. It's going to be so small, we're not even going to see it. Oh, I want to look, look for size, sorry. 0 0.1, comma, 0 0.1, comma, 0 0.1. So it's tiny, but I'll put it right in the middle of that can. So what I'm going to do, make sure collisions are off. I'm going to get my can. Now look for the position. If I can find it, there it is, position. Control C, select my handle. Go to position on the handle. Control V to paste it. Boom, now it's inside. If I hit my move, I can see that it's inside. Cool, let's put a, a, a weld constraint on the handle and the can so they stick together. So select weld constraint, part zero, can, part one, handle. And you, you could do it in any order, um, just as long as they're both, they're both listed in here. All right, um, let's change our animation name to drink anim. So if we come back a month later, we remember what we're doing. Um, let's change the tool to, tool name to potion. And we need a sound to go with this. So let's go to our toolbox. I have audio selected already. I'm going to say drinking sound. And some of these are like songs and stuff. Oh, here we go. Uh, so I look for like the one second. I'm going to drag Minecraft into the world. I like that sound. I'll play it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Perfect slurp. All right. So now the sound in the workspace, I'm going to put it in the tool. And I'm going to rename the sound to slurp. Right? Slurp. Yeah, cool. Let's add a, a local script. And I'll call this drink, right? It's important to name things. That way you don't get confused. All right, now we'll, this is a local script. So we'll get, it'll fire when somebody picks up the can. We'll say game, get service, player service. I want to get my local player, whoever picked it up, local player. And then I want to get the character, right? So I'll say local chr player dot character or player dot 
character added weight in case the character's not available. And then I need my humanoid and get that from the character. Weight for child humanoid. And now I need the animator. We used to load uh, animations right from the humanoid, but now we use the animator. Animator, you can, use, you can actually do the old way, it'll still work, but it's deprecated, which means there's a better way. And this is the better way. So animator, human, weight for child, and it's called animator, and I spell that wrong often. Animator, there we go. Now I need to get my animation. Now we saved it to our, our tool. So anim script dot parent dot drink anim. Now we need a track, right? The animation track. And we're gonna use the animator. There it is. Um, load animation. And we'll just say anim. Cool. And now we need the user input service for our F key, right? So we'll do game get service user input service and then we need a key for our drink key right so we'll say drink key equals enum key code f I, I made it f you can make whatever you want you hit that dot you see a whole bunch of different selections right so there f and then i need a debounce is finished so we don't spam it right I'm gonna set it to true, right? Because we, we're gonna start out as is finished. We're not gonna we're not gonna be drinking while we pick it up, All right? And then I'm gonna say sound script dot parent. I should call that slurp, but that's all right. Slurp. We only have one sound in here, All right, so I'll say local function play anim input. So we're gonna get an input value because we're gonna use the user input service input began and then we're going to connect that event to play anim cool and then let's check to see if our key code is right so we'll say if input key code capital c equals equals our drink key and is finished is still true then let's turn is finished off we'll say false we're, we're drinking now, right? And then I'm gonna turn it back on down here at the bottom. I'm gonna put it here so I don't forget. So that's true. All right, so we're gonna turn it off for a little bit, then we're gonna turn it back on. So I'll say track, right, play. That's our animation track. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a very short period of time so that the can gets to his face. So I'm gonna say track length. I'm gonna wait track length divided by four. Right, about a fourth of the animation, then I'm gonna start playing the slurp. Right? And then I'll do sound play, that's the slurp, right? And then the track is going to issue an event called stopped when we're done. And I will wait here until we stop. Now, if you put a value in here, it's not gonna like, like three, it's not that kind of wait. It's just gonna wait until the track stops. If you wanna wait after that, you're just gonna to have to use another wait statement in the next line. But we're done, we should, it should work. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Let's give it a try. Let's go here and play it. I'll put the view just in case I have a mistake. And then I'll pick up my refreshing drink, hit the F key. All right, there we go. Sweet. That's pretty good. I like it. All right, so maybe we'll add the invisibility script on the next one. And I will see you in the next video.